$7.50. It sold for a best offer of $280. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These items come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, there is a link down in my link tree. Come hang out and share a bolo under the best June bolo post. And I will feature it in a video just like this. Be sure to mention your selling platforms and stuff like that in the comment, and I will shout it out for you in the video. And that's a great way to get exposure for your different things like YouTube, whatnot, um, your selling platforms, social media, all that good stuff. On the 13th, I got, th oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Paid $10 for this new open box Magnavox digital disc DVD recorder on July 23rd of 2023. So sat for almost a year. Sold for full asking price of $215. Going international to Chile. Buyer was all in for $274. So for something like this, it is a matter of you can lower the price and maybe sell it quicker or let it sit and wait for your, um, for the, you know, the higher price. It's up to you. So it did take a little while to sell, but definitely a bolo. This one comes from Basket Case Mama Fab Finds. And in this video, you are going to see different examples. Some of the items are going to be big money. Everybody's definition of a bolo is different. Um, and I'm going to read to you what she wrote. Vineyard Vines Custom Collection Alumni Tie Stanford Red Flag Pattern. All right. So this is what it looks like. And some of these items may be things that were picked up cheap and sold for a good profit. Things that you may have walked by because, look, it says alumni. Maybe you would have shied away from that because of that. So let's see. Hey, Courtney, so happy to have a few to share with you. This isn't huge money, but it's a small item. So I thought I'd share. So easy to list, easy to ship. A uh, quick flip, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Recently, I started looking at ties. They are usually cheap and some are worth nice money. Easy to store, easy to ship, easy to list. So she said exactly what I just said. Um, I found this in one and was shocked that A, it sold for really decent money and it sold in three days. So I said she probably sold it quick for a full asking price of $40. This is a vineyard. Uh, alumni tie for Stanford University. It is Vineyard Vines, which is generally mediocre as a resale brand and a tie, but it has new with tags still on it. Paid $2.49 and figured I could at least get 10 to 12 for a new tie. Then I looked it up and these sell pretty well, new or used, new more than certain colleges more. New more and certain colleges for more. This uh, was little golf flags instead of stripes or logos, which can be better. Even with all that, it far exceeds exceeded expectations selling for 40 plus shipping. So check out ties. Some designers go for up to a hundred, but 40 is a nice chunk of change for a 249 investment. So thank you so much. There was so much good information right there. And especially for new sellers, ties, you want to look up many and most many, I'm going to say most are bread and butter, but 25 cents, 10 cents, 50 cents, you find them all the time at garage sales. So if you're patient, you could get into ties, but only some of them are going to go for big money. So do your research before you pay up for a tie. Wama Suta Lennox Waste Basket Luster Roses Trash Bin Ceramic Powder Room Size. All right. So it's a little trash can. Ceramic. Never heard of that brand. She said she is on eBay, Poshmark, Whatnot, Mercari, and Etsy. This one is a great find if you find one. And again, a weirdo in my sadness is the post office destroyed it in transit. Oh no, literally crushed the box. So it arrived in pieces. Not for poor packing. My hubby is a stellar shipper guy. I got my $100 back from USPS in literally eight days from sending the claim. They didn't even dispute it. Sadly, I forgot to, to insure it as, as generally we never have issues due to her hubby's packing expertise. So she did end up losing a little out of pocket. So USPS, uh, 100 bucks is what they cover. So if she sold it for 132, she did lose a little money. 
Uh, anyway, the item is a Wamasuta, which is a Lennox brand wastebasket. It is ceramic. This one was shabby chic with a luster to the glaze and 1980s roses on it. It was a heavy ceramic too, like a half inch thick. Not easy to break, but heavy to ship. She said it cost like 17 just for shipping. It took a while to sell and got lots of lowball offers, but I stuck to my guns and got 106.22 plus shipping. She did use a coupon off the price shown on the listing, which is why there is a difference, 20%. I found it in a matching tissue hoarder at a two at two different Goodwills. Wow. So I figured. So I go figure. I paid $5 for it. So even after damage and refund, I'm still fine. But be sure if I find one again, I'm grabbing it. Yeah, that's a brand I've never heard of. All right. This one comes from Thrifty Wonderlust. She says, I purchased these vintage Jack Purcell Converse shoes, $6 each at a local secondhand store. Comps looked high for blue, but red seemed rarer. So I took a leap and listed high. I think being that they were both size 11, men's helped since it looks to be a hard to find size. Both sold in less than five minutes to the same buyer. This one sold for $250 and these sold for $95. Wow. $6 each. Same seller purchased these crystal wine glasses for a dollar each at the secondhand store near me. Listed for $72.50 uh, and sold within two days of listing. I'm now on the lookout for more crystal. These are Rydell or Riedel etched in the bottom of the base of the glasses. Always look up signed glassware, especially crystal. I would not want to ship that. <laughs> this one comes from Seem So Vintage, you guys. She is um, one of my awesome moderators over on Whatnot and a really great friend. She is fabulous. I'm like, you need to share a bolo. But you guys know the hats I wear. Um, I've got one up there. I, I have it in another video. It's a green hat. I just wore it. And you got to go check out her hats on her Whatnot. They're in her bite now. They are so awesome. But she is so good at knitting. I think it's what it's called. She also made my little owl. But anyway, seems so vintage on eBay and on whatnot. She is fabulous. Please go and give her a follow. This is a retired Radco pink flamingo blown glass ornament. Miami ice replacement. She said she picked it up on whatnot. What? Yep. Sourced on whatnot for $9.59. All in buyer paid $97.55. Sold with promoted listing. My profit after fees and cost of goods was $54.03. Come visit me on whatnot. Seems so vintage. I sell everything. Yes, she does. And I um, I got a really cool Torrid. Um, I wore it the other day and I think on whatnot. Yeah, it was on whatnot. And it was new with tags, like a $69 tag. And I think I got it for five bucks plus shipping. It was amazing. I love it. All right. Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle went a little crazy. You guys know how she does. She said, maybe not a big money, but for something that fits in the palm of your hand and is made of plastic, you know it, Tupperware, listed for $18.99 due to the color, took less than 24 hours to sell. I did take an offer of 15 plus shipping. They were all in for $21.35 because Tupperware sells. I have a video on that. So Noelle likes to always rub in the Tupperware sells because I'm like, I don't like to sell Tupperware. It's boring. She's like, but it sells. All right. So she did a video on her YouTube about Tupperware that sells for money, big money and some bread and butter. But you find these things cheap at garage sales and at thrift stores all the time. And she knows her Tupperware. So go watch that video. Now, this is not a big money bolo, but this is something that many of you like me probably ignore. It's a salt and pepper shaker. These here are also from no Noel. She said, I picked these up along with two salad plates at an estate sale about a month ago. Royal Albert Old Country Rose is a bolo all in itself. But the holiday, a.k.a. Christmas version, is even more sought after. I have about $2.50 cost of goods listed May 3rd, sold May 14th in a 10% off sale for $53.99 plus shipping all in. They paid $70.57, which is an amazing price for two unassuming Christmas coffee mugs. Always pick up, pick the mugs up and look at the bottom. You may get a surprise. Oh, and they left nice positive feedback as well. Okay, you guys. So Noelle knows a lot about a lot of things. You definitely should check out her uh, live shows, even the replays over on YouTube because she talks about a lot of things and she finds things that are very unexpected. And she shared a bunch of bolos. So we're going to keep going here. Here is another one. Just 
you you probably would have ignored it, guys. I mean, let's be honest. Who picks up vintage 1960s A and W root beer super papa burger gold foil hamburger bags? Who saves these? Lot of five, all right. And she has five more available. So if you're looking for this, she's got it. A blast from the past, right here. Who remembers A and W drive-ins? She said it was her dad's favorite place to eat because he loved the root beer. So she picked these up for free and was like, I know these will sell. And I know that I can use this as a teaching moment because paper sells. By the way, I have a few more bundles available in my store. Wink, wink. So listed on the 22nd of May and they fell right into a 25% off sale and sold for 27 or sold on the 27th of May for 32.50. So in five days, she already sold one. All in with shipping, it uh, looks like $40.17 for five unused foil hamburger bags. Got to giggle all the way to the bank. All right, here we go. Let's look at another one. This one says Disney Snow White Sleepy Dwarf Embroidered Iron-On Patch Vintage New Sealed in the Package. Kind of, again, something that you can pick up at garage sales all the time. Estate sales in the sewing room, cheap. You can get them cheap. Okay, trying to figure out how to share this because it was combined order, so I'll do my best but you have to go down into the comments for more photos. Not big money by themselves, bread and butter, right? However, she bought a large amount of these for pennies and have multiples. Because I have all the dwarfs as well as Snow White, so this buyer contacted me to get combined shipping. She bought seven and she gave her a deal. She paid $89.53 for seven of these. $89.53, guys, plus shipping. And it gets better because she messed up somewhere and she contacted me and I told her no worries. I would ship the correct one out in the morning. She said, just wait. Now I need more. So she bought more. I'll add up a screenshot below. She laughed and told me she was sure it was a ploy to get her to come back and buy more. So these are what they look like. So definitely a, not a big money bolo, but an unexpected bolo. So this is from Noelle also, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. And she said, okay, last one for now. I hope, and she, she did, she's not honest. This is not the last one, guys. Okay, last one for now, she says. I helped clean out after an estate sale last summer and I got this really, no. Oh yeah, cool tennis racket bag that was loaded with vintage pens from all over the world. Picture in the comments. I have sold many of the pens already and some are still listed for sale. I will link one, but I sold two of these to the same person the same day for a best offer of 50 each. They were all in for 55.15 um, for each pen, 110.30 total. Whether they were buying for the gold or for the item, who knows, but I got about $12 over spot gold price. So no complaints. One had a diamond and one had an emerald. And yes, I tested with the Presidium. Again, these were free to me here. Okay, so here is the first one. Red Lion 10K yellow gold with diamond. And I think she said she took 50 each because it was the same buyer. Here's the other one. And here is the bag that she bought them on. And in another video, I just had somebody else do this same thing. So very, very cool. Okay, this is a doozy. I'll see if I can find a photo of the tote to add just for reference. I paid 25 for this large tote of the Cat's Meow Village Shelf Sitters. Some sell, some Let's see, some sell well, some eh, not so much. She's correct on that. Some take forever. So there ended up being 192 pieces. I got 30 listings out of them after setting them all out on my table and lotting like ones together. I have approximately 16 cents into each piece. I got them all listed in pretty much two days. Got an offer from a gentleman for several different lots and ended up making this listing just for him. Already had amazing feedback and have sold quite a few more with some still in the store. Woo, the total for this, for the offer was $280.99 plus shipping. He was all in for $319.12. Pretty sure I made some money here. More sales in the comments below. To be clear, all of these were listed May 10th and 11th. All of these sold have been in May, some 24 to 48 hours. She's made over $500 so far. So this one is the National and State Parks. So again, a lot of times specific ones are going to sell for more. She created this bundle listing for someone, 280 on that one. This one, $24.99. This one, $80.90, 99 cents. This one, $14.39, $29.99 on this one. And here is another one from Noel. See, she said she was done. She was kidding. Free to me, took a while to sell, but I'll, I'm a list it and forget it kind of gal, like Courtney. 
These are so darn cute. I almost kept them. Not sold for $129.19 and a 20% off sale. They were $148.20 all in ship and left nice feedback. Well, as well. Pick them at an estate sale on free day. Two vintage prints. Anders Olsen's Tomity feeds horse and girl. Tomity. What's a Tomity with goat rare? Noelle's watching this going, that girl cannot read. Uh, look how cute these are. And she got them free. All right. The next one. This one comes from the basement seller. And she bought this from me on whatnot. And I remember selling this. It was just a little carded robin pin. It's not even a pin. I don't know what it is. Robin on, oh, Robin on a pine cone cross stitch, cross stitch accessory. Oh my goodness. I thought it was jewelry. That is so funny. But anyway, she said, bought it all in for nine on whatnot from me at one of my shows. And here's the thing about it. She paid probably five for it. And then that was tax and shipping on top of it. So all in for nine, she sold it for 35. And it says, Bolo Buddies has great whatnot shows and you should be watching her. Honest and a fun time. Oh, thank you so much. Check out the basement seller on eBay. And I think that is so interesting that that is a cross stitch accessory. And I think she sold it fast. Antique dark blue Jasper Ware Wedgwood Portland vase, four inch, 1877. She said, I got this at a local online auction and bulk lot of Wedgwood for $7.50. It sold for a best offer of 280 in eight months. This one comes from Childhood Finds and she also has an amazing YouTube channel. You got to check her out. And she finds lots of bolos. Same as Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Man, they are bolo finders. This might be the cutest thing. Vintage Brass Sleeping Bunny Rabbit Shelf Book Sitter. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so cute. She got it at an estate sale for $1. $1? She said, I was shocked when I saw the value. It sold for $230. And that is Childhood Finds as well. Follow her on YouTube for sure. Found these while digging through my button collection. I've sold lots of sewing related items over the years, but these were the best. Love the group. Uh, thrifty thrift, thriftily thrift on eBay. Seven antique Willer Wilson D9 sewing machine bobbins, $64.99. And I think Farm Girl Scavenger Noel has a video on buttons. And I also have a video on buttons. So if you type in Bolo Buddies buttons, it'll pull it up. So go over to the Facebook group, share your best June Bolo. I will feature it in a video like this. Give yourself a shout out. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Come over to the whatnot. Come over to the whatnot. And there is a link down below, like I said, to get $15 to shop if you use that referral link. So I hope to see you guys at a show. And I do a lot of untangling. So even if you don't want to buy, just come hang out. It's really fun. You can talk to everyone in the chat. And it's a good time. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.